Hey, I'm Chef Brenda. Welcome to the Start Smart Breakfast video series. Today we are featuring the cheese of peach delicious quesadilla. And in this quesadilla is some fresh peaches, some shredded white cheddar cheese, and pepper jack, yum. And then we're going to put in some fresh basil and utilize our whole grain tortillas. So with basil, the thing that you want, the first thing you want to do is you want to stack the leaves up on top of each other, just like I've done here. I think it's easiest if you do about eight to 10 in a row. And then you're going to roll it up into a little roll. And then you're going to hold your knife properly. So you're gonna place your pointer finger and your thumb on your knife here. You're gonna wrap your hand around the handle. And then you're going to start with the knife pointing at the cutting board and you're going to glide. You don't wanna press down really hard on the herbs. Oftentimes you see people chopping like this and you don't wanna do that because what it does is it takes all of those wonderful flavors and oils in the herbs and just puts them right in your cutting board and it bruises. So we wanna make sure we're gliding and being very gentle as we're chopping our fresh herbs. Now that we have our basil chopped, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up your tortillas so that production will be fast and quick. So I have some cooking spray that is butter flavored that I'm just gonna spray on the back side of each quesadilla. As you can see, I'm working from the back of the pan rather than the front because I'm going to layer these as I'm making them. So the spray side goes down on the parchment paper. First, I'm going to add one ounce of my shredded cheese in the center of each quesadilla. Now I need one ounce of cheese, so I'm going to use a two ounce ladle. So it's really important to make sure you weigh first to see what your measure needs to be. And then you're going to place the one ounce of cheese in the center of each tortilla, top with a fourth cup of diced fresh peaches, and garnish with about one teaspoon of your fresh chopped basil. So now you can see we have our quesadillas assembled. I know sometimes when we're making burritos or quesadillas, the assembly can feel a bit cumbersome. But when I started this video, you could see that I had all of my ingredients set out in place so that the speed was fast and I was able to prepare these quesadillas in no time. So it's very important to make sure that you prepare all of your ingredients, get all of your measuring, devices that you're gonna use out so that you never have to leave your workstation and you have a plan set up for assembly. So now that we have these wonderful quesadillas ready to go, let's put them in the oven. It's been preheating at 350 degrees, it's ready to go, and we're going to bake these for about five to eight minutes. So using a pizza cutter or a knife, we're gonna go ahead and cut these in half. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and place them in some foil. Look how beautiful, oh my gosh. Peaches and cheese and basil, delicious. Melted cheese. So I'm just gonna go ahead and overlap them a little bit, put them in a foil sheet, and then serve them in a grab and go or curbside container. All right, voila. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out our other nine videos in this breakfast video series.